All right, so um, have arrived at a new Airbnb and uh, the Airbnb is over near Heathrow Airport. So I'm doing uh, a, I'm going for a walk now to uh, essentially go and see the viewing uh, area for plane spotting uh, over at Heathrow Airport. Um, as many of you may or may not know, uh, Yes, I am a bit of an av geek. So I'm gonna have my plane spotting apps out, flight tracker, and I'm gonna be checking out all the flights coming in um, and hopefully getting some cool little close-ups and maybe even meeting uh, the gentleman that does the plane spotting uh, YouTube account, YouTube channel. Um, which, uh, if you haven't seen, uh, I'll throw a link to his YouTube account, uh, channel, so I should say, uh, somewhere below this video so that, uh, yeah, you can go check out all of his fun plane spotting, uh, activities, um, that he does over at Heathrow. So yeah, um, feeling good today. It's been a, quite a interesting week. Yesterday went to the British Museum in London in the city. Day before that went to Wimbledon. Uh, didn't see a live tennis ball hit in anger but uh, much the same sat up on the hill um, and enjoyed the atmosphere and watched the games on the main arena court, centre court and court one uh, via the uh, the big hill uh, with the many thousands of people that were sitting there in the rain but it was still good as you can see though behind me it is a beautiful summer's day here at London and uh, yeah I'm on a walk this walk it's approximately 35 minutes it's saying to go to the uh, the plane spotters location of choice Anyway, we'll check in when we're a bit closer. See ya. Right, well, gotta love when you uh, walk for about 10 minutes, only to find when you look at your uh, maps that you've been walking in completely the wrong direction, uh, as I had just discovered. So, uh, have turned around and now going in the right direction. And uh, my ETA, instead of 35 minutes, is now 40 minutes. Anyway, onward. Right, for all those uh, interested at home, here are some property prices. I'm at Feltham, and uh, yeah, about 230,000 pounds for, I don't know how big this place is. Oh, that's a, uh, a large bedroom. It's like a one bedroom for 230 grand. That's at about half a million dollars. Now, Quite, in, uh, quite funny, I love these ones here. <clears throat> these come highly recommended. <laughs> Do you reckon there's any properties that don't come recommended? That are like, not recommended or... <laughs> Weird. Anyway, yeah, can't see a property that uh, I would be putting advertisement up for not being highly recommended, but anyway. Yeah. All right, so quick update. We've had some lunch. I was getting quite hungry. We've been walking for quite some time. This is about an hour and a half later since my <laughs> first video. Um, but uh, when I arrived at the first viewing area, God love my luck, uh, yes, the planes were taking off on that runway and uh, not landing. So they're landing on the runway, which is, uh, I think, uh, I think north, uh, the northern runway. I think there's a north. I think so. Yeah, so they're landing on the northern runway, taking off from the south runway. And of course, I arrived at the south runway. So um, nearly now uh, back at, well, plan is to try and get basically underneath the uh, final approach 
of the northern runway. So, uh, yep, nearly there, I think. I think I can walk along here. Massive British Airways hangar to the next to me. Let's have a look at this. See through the trees there. It's a big uh, BA bird in there. Looks like a 737 or something. Yeah. Anyway, check in when we're underneath, hopefully, some big airplanes landing. All right, update. I'm a little bit pissed because I walked all the way around to the <coughs> northern runway where up until moments ago all of the flights were landing but it seems as though as I approached the viewing area they changed the runways around to make it now that the southern runway is the landing zone and the uh, Northern runway is a takeoff. Cop that. So <laughs> I just walked fucking 40 minutes. And I kid you not, as I was on approach, like with 100 meters to go before I got to the viewing area, the final plane landed on the northern runway. Ugh. Okay, so we've turned around. At least I know the way. Heading back to original southern runway viewing spot where hopefully we can see some planes land. Yeah, pretty pissed to be honest. That's annoying. Anyway, that's what you get. These are the battles and challenges of an AV enthusiast. So I'll check in with you in another 40 minutes when I walk back to this bloody viewing site. Ugh. There was a something, something, just, just, just keep walking. Here we go, we're getting closer. Obviously tracking that as it came in. Yeah, cop that. Here comes the bird. Check this out, straight at us. first one this looks like it's uh it's only a relatively small we've got two engines and it's uh looks as though <laughs> oh it could be an a350 no oh it's hard to see from the angle here she comes coming right at us we've got a bit of a crosswind and it's getting a bit stronger as we talk it's pushed this plane a little bit more sideways Look at the pitch on it as it comes in. We've got a uh, visitor coming to say hello as well. We've got the fire lap over here. Back on the plane, back at the matter of hand. We've got a big Very cute. A couple of horses. Alright, we've got a lineup coming in the 
distance. I'm wanting a big mama here. We want to see an A380 come in. But uh, from this, it doesn't look like they are uh, A380. on its way we've got an A380 Emirates flight inbound in about two flights time so I believe this one coming up now from what I looked at is a 777 coming in from San Francisco or maybe this is not maybe this is a smaller one but there is a big bird out there and it's coming in behind yeah I think this is a A321 BA British Airways flight. from San Francisco.
What do you think of that, horses? Hey? Eh? Bet you've seen a few of them in your time. Yeah.